Guys, uh, so I thought I would just talk about something a little bit more real today because I thought, I don't know, I just thought maybe someone out there may need to hear it. It's probably something like 90% of you guys don't need, but there's probably just a few people out there that, that might need to hear this, that this, this may help. So I just wanted to talk about some stuff. Um, a lot of people have been hitting me up, kind of concerned about how much weight that I've lost recently because I have lost a lot of weight. Um, I, I, I kind of went through a stage where I just completely lost my appetite. Um, I wasn't eating. I was pretty much just like eating one meal a day. It wasn't a conscious thing. It's just I wasn't really thinking about it. I wasn't really taking care of myself. Um, like pretty much on the days where I wasn't seeing the kids because the kids motivate me. Because when you've got kids, you, you have to suck it up. You have to just, you know, like be present, be, be there for them 110%. But it was like, for a while there, like the, the days that, those other days, uh, I was, you know, just struggling to get out of bed, just watching Netflix. And um, yeah, so I made the decision to, to go and see a counselor, um, which I know there's still a bit of a stigma about going to see counselors. I'm all for it. I don't think there's any shame in going and seeing a counselor. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It just means you're trying to fix yourself. You're trying to get through something and it's, it's helpful if you find the right one. And, and luckily, like, this guy is actually really dumb. Anyway, he made this suggestion that I do something that is just so basic, like, you, you probably wouldn't think that it, it would really do that that much. But it's something I've been doing for a little while now, and it's it's helped me, like, helped me so much. Um, it's got me feeling more like myself again. Um, and basically what he told me to do is, every day set set five really basic goals. They have to be basic. They have to be goals that don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Like, you can add more goals to these, like, like I write them on a, a whiteboard and I tick them off every single day. Um, and now I add extra goals underneath them for each day as well. But five basic goals that you can do in five minutes. And it's all about forming the, like just creating habits so that you're, you, you essentially just end up doing them without even really thinking about it. So as I said, the goals that I've set for myself, they're super basic, nothing to brag about. Anybody can do it. Um, the objective is you then end up, you know, having bigger goals once you've been consistently hitting all of these. It's just so that you can feel like you're setting, like achieving goals without putting too much pressure on yourself um, just to hit the ground running, so to speak. Um, so my five goals are uh, every day I have to exercise for five minutes. Um, I have to listen to an audio book or read a book for at least five minutes. Um, I have to do something creative for at least five minutes, which can be anything really. Like it can be taking photos, it can be creative writing, it can be making a video. Even what I'm doing right now is doing something creative. I have to clean the house for at least five minutes a day. And then the last one, it's not really a five minute one, but I've, I've got it there because as I said, I'm losing a lot of weight and I'm, I'm making a conscious effort to put that back on. So the last one is I have to eat at least three solid meals a day. So they're my five goals for the day. And, and you know, like when I first started doing this, I was doing them just for like five minutes, just like, because I wasn't like, I was depressed. Um, and it was kind of an effort to do just really basic, basic things for myself, for myself. Like I was still doing stuff for my kids, but for myself, I wasn't doing stuff for yourself. And the thing is, you have to do things for yourself. You have to f stay focused on yourself. You have to be strong for yourself because what it seeks its own level and your kids are looking up to you. And if you're not strong, then, you know, how can you expect them to grow up to be strong and positive and focused? And the dope thing is once you start setting these basic like five minute goals, you end up doing them for a lot more than five minutes. Like, I can't even remember the last time I did any of those tasks for only five minutes. You just keep going with them and like you, you, you end up not even having to think about, oh man, I have to exercise today or oh man, I have to uh, do something creative today. It just, it, it comes natural because it's all about habit forming. And you know, I just wanted to talk about this today because it's really helped me and like I know there's people out there watching this that are going through something maybe you've gone through a separation recently or maybe you're going through something completely different that that um, 
that, that's got you down and, and making it hard for you to be motivated. Um, I don't know if this will definitely work for you, but there's no harm in giving it a try because it's honestly, it's, I feel like it's really been helping me and um, especially, especially if you have kids. Like when you have kids, unfortunately, you, if you're going through something, you can't take that time that a, that a person without kids can to, to just be depressed um, and, and, and be sad or feel sorry for yourself because you need to be the best version of yourself for the sake of your kids because you're teaching them how to live life. Um, once again, I'm so sorry that I, I've gotten so deep on you. I know that this is probably like bored a, a whole bunch of you, you, heaps of you guys who watch me for like carefree sort of stuff. Um, this isn't the usual sort of thing that I post, but um, if, if just one person gets something from this, then, you know, I'm